Welcome back to Lisa's Family Table. I have a real treat in store for you today. What are we gonna to make today? Well, this is something that for me is a great weeknight thing. And it's taking advantage of what I believe is one of the most um, economical things you can buy in the store. So this is a rotisserie chicken from a box store. Get any rotisserie chicken you want. It's already cooked. I love having things ready for me when it's lunchtime. I don't wanna to have to order out I don't want to have to take the time to go out. It's so much more convenient for me. So what I do is I take the rotisserie chicken, okay? You're going to cut the string off of it, all right? And you're going to break this chicken down. I'm going to ask Russell to help us with that, okay? You're going to break it down, and then you're going to put the carcass and all the skin and everything in the crock pot. Okay. Okay, and so what this is what I call my overnight soup. I buy the chicken at the, the store. Any rotisserie chicken works for this. We break it down. I put in the Ziploc meat the meat, or I put a Ziploc bag the meat. We take the carcass, throw it in the crock pot with some aromatics. When I wake up the next day, I have stock. This stock, you can see how rich it is. I did nothing but throw it in with some aromatics, which I'll walk you through here in a second. And then I make a soup. I'm gonna give you one version of it, my Italian wedding soup. Why do they call it Italian wedding soup? It's, a, it's an Italian American dish actually. And they call it wedding because it's the marriage of a meatball and a chicken soup. So if you don't want the meatballs, you can take the soup all the way up to that point and just omit the meatballs, or you can do your own version of it. Um, I, this is really about a technique, uh, taking advantage of it. For us, we're empty nesters. So we can eat part of the chicken for our dinner with a salad and then we take the rest of it, throw it in the Ziploc, and put the rest in for the chicken stock. And it makes quite a bit. I may not even use it all, so then I can freeze it, and I've got stock in the freezer. So Russell's breaking down the chicken. I've already done this overnight, as you can tell. I bought two chickens, and I did one so that we could have it here. And so he's just breaking down the chicken into nice pieces. And then what I have here in this bowl is I already cut up my vegetables for my soup and I just save my onion ends, my carrot ends, my celery pieces. All that's going in the stock because it all gets thrown away. You're not eating this. Um, of course, I've washed all these, so they're all clean. And I've got two bay leaves, okay? So I've got the equivalent of about one carrot, one celery stick, one onion. Putting it in here, put it in my stock pot, simple. So we've taken all the chicken off the chicken that we wanted, we put it in the Ziploc, it's with the chicken that we took apart yesterday as well. And we'll talk about this in a second. We put all of the onion, celery, carrot, two bay leaves. I also put a tablespoon of tomato paste, which will give a good color to the stock. And we're just gonna put the top on it. And it's literally gonna sit in the crock pot on low overnight. Okay, I'm okay. gonna go put it in. Go ahead, thank you. All right, let's, let's talk about the meatballs real quick. Okay, so what I have here is I have one pound of lean ground beef. This is a ground sirloin. Um, normally when I make meatballs, I want a lot of fat, but this is gonna go into the soup, and we don't want a lot of fat you know, sit, sitting on the top. So we're gonna just do this. I've got one pound, and my ratio is always one egg to one pound of beef. And I've got some cheese here, about a half a cup of cheese. Okay, this is Pecorino Romano. I typically use Parmesan, but I didn't see one that I liked. So again, you buy the ingredients that you think are the best ingredients. You go with some breadcrumbs. These are just out of a thing. Again, this is, it's supposed to be an easy dish. Okay, and then we have our LSR. This is our seasoning for this right here. Okay, it just makes it so much simpler because there's not a lot to go through. You're just really gonna season this up like this. Okay, ratios are going to be below. And then we're gonna mix up these little meatballs and then we're gonna throw them in the oven and then we're gonna throw our soup together and then it's all gonna to come together because our stock is already super flavorful. One thing that you noticed when I put everything into the crock pot, I didn't put salt. Again, I don't put salt until I'm ready to flavor it uh, because the stock will be reducing, it'll get too salty. So you just have to, you know, wait and do the salt later. When I was pregnant with my son, this was something I used to crave. I mean, this and root beer floats. Those were my like go-to thing. And I'm not even a big sweet eater, but for some reason, I just loved a root beer float. I still love them now. A little more bread comes in here. From a ratio perspective, what you're really looking for on a meatball is you don't want it to be too dense 
And if you notice in my spaghetti recipe, the meatball recipe, I put milk in it. Um, I'm not gonna do that here. I am gonna put a smidge of water in this just to loosen it up because I don't want them to be too dense. Let me throw just a tablespoon of water in this. Okay. And that's just a little trick, right? Because you're, you're wanting to loosen up the meat so you get a tender meatball. And now I can feel that it's perfect. And what I want is I want it to be tender. And it's gonna take a second for it to absorb that moisture. So the meatball mixture is perfect. So if you can see, it's moist. If you feel it, it it's, it's, it's not like a dense basketball or baseball, right? I can feel that the meat is tender. Um, if it's really super dense feeling, what's gonna happen is the meatballs aren't gonna be great. So now you're just rolling them. And this is about the size you want because this is a soup. This is not spaghetti and meatballs. So Russell is gonna work on that. I'm gonna wash my hands. And then while he's finishing the meatballs, I'm gonna walk you through the soup. Be right back. So Russell is putting the meatballs together. My oven is preheated to 400. The meatballs only take about 10 minutes. You can see we have a lot of chicken because I did do two rotisserie chickens. I'm gonna post a, a link to another recipe for a curry chicken salad that's great. You can get some of those Hawaiian sweet rolls, put it on there, make some little sliders, and make uh, a great party appetizer or um, something if you're having people over or watch a game or something like that. Um, also, another great lunch option. Again, for me, what I find these days is having these super easy things that I can do where I have a nourishing lunch that doesn't weigh me down and make me tired is super important. So what we're going to do here is we've got some chicken. We've got our stock. We've got onions, celery, and carrots. Okay? So we're going to put a little oil in our pan. You're going to be amazed at how quick this comes together. There's like good fattiness to the stock, right? It's like a bone broth because it sat overnight. It's pretty clear. I did put a little bit of tomato paste in it to give it some color. And it's not salty because I've strained it all out. I didn't put any salt in it, so we'll flavor it as we go through it. So it's gonna have a really good mouthfeel to it when you eat this soup. This is one of my go-tos during the week. I can eat it two out of the three days, no problem. I get bored easily with food. Um, some of my friends that are huge into fitness, they, they think that, you know, making the same dish and eating every day, that's not in my DNA. I've got to have some variety. So we're putting some more aromatics in here. You know, you, you want these to be about this size, right? You want them to be bite size. And like you saw, I took the, t I, I did the vegetables the night before. That way I could take the tops, the pieces, put that in my stock. Um, I also keep a stock bag in my freezer, and what I do is like when I chop up vegetables and stuff, I always keep it in my stock bag. Okay? So my onions, my carrots, my celery. I don't really need a bay leaf in this because I put bay leaf when I made my stock. Okay? Now we can add salt. Okay? I wish you could smell it in here. It smells terrific. Now when I make this, I also put spinach in it, as you're gonna see, in the little meatballs, and I typically serve it over some small pasta, okay? So we're getting our vegetables. We're just looking for the onions to be translucent. That's all we're looking for. And while that's doing that, I'm gonna get some of the chicken out of here. I'm gonna rough chop it. Some of the pieces of skin that are left, I'm taking that off, I don't want it. You have to think about, you're gonna bite into this, right? You don't wanna be biting into gristle or fat. And this is so easy because the chicken was already cooked. Now, if you don't want to buy a rotisserie chicken, you have to add an extra step. You have to cook the chicken ahead of time. But really, for the price point, you're going to pay the same price to buy the chicken and then have to cook it. It's already done for you. And then um, you can, you know, make your overnight stock. You go to bed. The work's being done for you. I love when work's being done for me. Okay. My vegetables are translucent. My stock's going to go in. I'm going to see how much I want to add. It's just really a pretty soup. Go over here. And when I took this out of the crock pot, I did strain it through a, fine, a medium mesh strainer. Not super fine. So if you'll just do the soup up to the level where we add the meatballs. And if you do want to put pasta, the reason I ladle the pasta in 
ladle it over pasta is so that I can continue to warm this soup up. All right, we've got our meatballs in. We've got our oven set at 400 degrees. Uh, we're gonna stick these in for about 10 minutes. Okay. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. So our meatballs cooked for 10 minutes. Do you want to taste one? Yeah. You want to taste one? You want to taste one? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Mm. It's good. Mmm. Mm hmm Delicious. I like the texture. Mm hmm They're perfect. Mm hmm Okay, so our soup has been simmering. The carrots are just getting a little al dente. Russell's going to put the meatballs in. Go okay. ahead. All right. The wedding is officially happening. The chicken and the meatballs are getting happy. <laughs> and from start to finish, you're looking at, because of the meatballs taking the extra time, about 30 minutes. If you skip that step, it's really just putting everything in a pan. I'm also going to add spinach. Uh, for those of you that are always trying to get your kids to eat vegetables, this is a great way to do that. So we're just taking some spinach. I love the fact that it gives it extra color, puts vitamins in it. You just go straight from here. This is not, you know, Hard to do. Looks like a lot, but it really shrinks up. Stir it in. I'm putting the whole thing in. There we go. That's done. I've got some water here boiling for my pasta. I'm gonna wipe off my surface here. You definitely wanna stay, keep your surfaces clean when you're cooking. Okay, so the spinach, the meatballs, looks great. Now I'm gonna take a spoon, I'm gonna taste it. Remember, I've added no salt. Okay, I've got LSR on my meatballs. That's gonna add a flavor profile. Honestly, it doesn't need a lot of salt, it just needs a little pinch. This is why you wait till the end here. So I'm putting about a teaspoon in, okay? I love lemon, I'm putting lemon juice. I think what it does is it lifts the flavor. Um, Sometimes it's hard to detect that it's there, but it gives it a little bit of brightness. So I'm putting in the lemon juice. And then basically our soup is done, right? We're waiting for our pasta. We're gonna cook our ditalini. Like I said, you can do little shells. You can skip the pasta. You could do zucchini noodles. You don't even have to do the meatballs. There are lots of things you can do up to the point where the chicken's in the soup, right? You don't have to add the spinach. You can do a scurl, which is actually more traditional than a spinach. I actually like the spinach better than a scurl. I think texturally it holds up to the soup better. So we started with a rotisserie chicken. I think those chickens are like five bucks. Yep. Super affordable. They're actually a lost leader it's, for it's stores. They sell it for the same price they cook the regular chicken. Yeah. They just cooked it for you. Actually, like sometimes a chicken costs more as a whole chicken, so, but it's cooked. <laughs> yeah. And so we took it apart, we made stock. Um, you can see it's a huge pot of stock, plenty of chicken. I did have two chickens. I've got some stock cooking now. Um, half my other chicken, my other chicken's in the refrigerator. I'll do a chicken curry with that tomorrow. My soup is almost ready. My pasta is cooking. We're just about ready. I can't wait. Okay, welcome back to our table. Our quick rotisserie Italian wedding soup is done. So I've gone ahead and I strained the pasta. You cook it per the instructions, right? Because it's not gonna cook in the soup, so you want it to be ready. So we've got it ready, our soup is ready. Let me show you how to plate this, okay? So we have our noodles. Just put over, you know, however many you want. I'm, I'm a pasta gal, so I like pasta. And then you ladle your soup into here. You wanna get good chicken, vegetables, meatballs. You wanna get all of it. Right there, some of the stock that we worked so, that we didn't work so hard on, I should say. Okay, that's beautiful. And I've got some cheese I'm gonna grate over it, which I think is gonna just add some pretty color. All right? More flavor. And then I really wanna put just a little bit of parsley on it too, just because I think it's gonna give some more color to it. Mm. There we go. It is a little hot, but let's taste and see what we have here. I'm just, I can't decide. Meatball, chicken, that's why it's marriage. It's a perfect marriage, right? Taste some of the pasta first. Mm. Oh, so good. 
It really is delicious. It's very, it is definitely a comfort food dish, right? And you can see why you make the meatball small. You could just eat the whole meatball, but I'm gonna cut it in half so I don't have to embarrass myself. Mm. The texture of the meatball is perfect and the chicken is really tender. So from our kitchen to yours, our easy rotisserie, 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 I don't know, you say it. Our easy rotisserie Italian wedding soup from our table to yours, enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you can get notification of our upcoming videos. We post every Thursday and you won't wanna miss a single video.